Welcome to the fourth video in IndieResource.com's How to Make a Web Browser Morg. This is Halls of Valhalla. Uh, first thing I want to do real quick is is go ahead and let everybody know I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube. And so if you're watching this on YouTube, the, this is video four, and you're probably thinking, well, where the heck's two, three, and three B? Actually, it, they were too big for for YouTube, so I've been putting them on another site. But all you got to do is go to IndieResource.com. And the website may look a little different when you come here because we're redoing it, but regardless, just go to the forums. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the forums, you will see Browser MMO Tutorial. Go in there, and all of the videos are in there. So there's video 1, 2, 3, and then 4, and, and 5 is going to be in there, and so on. And go ahead and post your comments and stuff like that. And just bookmark this and, and start coming here to see them, because I don't know how many I'm going to be able to fit on YouTube to get on YouTube. So uh, it's best not to even even trust that they're all going to be on YouTube. Okay, let's go ahead and start this video. In this video, I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm actually we're actually going to make a really quick game in this in this video. This is going to be a two part series because there's no way I can get this in 10 minutes, but we can probably do it in about 15 20 minutes. Uh, so this is going to be 4A and 4B. I want to make a real quick game so everybody kind of gets an idea of what consists of a real simple battle game and it's going to be real quick and it'll just be a little goofy game we can play with first thing we want to do is let's go to PHP my admin and just go ahead and if you haven't already start your WAMP server then in your WAMP server when it comes up go to PHP my admin let's go to our tutorial database and when that gets open we are actually going to add a couple new fields to the player table so let's go ahead and click on players and what we're going to add is we're going to actually add, let's go up here to structure. We're going to add three new fields. So right here, let's put in three, hit go. And we are going to add H points for hit points. That's pretty standard. Everybody knows what that is. We're going to add a basic attack and just a basic defense. So attack and defense. And let's let's change them to medium in integer. I mean, we could use small here, but I'm just going to keep them for medium because we're not we're not worrying about space or anything like that. Let's make the length and values three. That gives us a possible of of 999 possible numbers, or actually a thousand if you count zero. Hit save. <coughs> okay. Next thing we want to do. Let's now we need to create a creatures table because we need to be able to fight something. So click back on tutorial. And under new table on database, let's name it simple as creatures. The fields we need are ID, name, hit points, attack, and defense. So that's five total fields. And I always put in ID just because it's an easy number. It's an easy way to keep track of what is in your database. It automatically counts them for you. Uh, everything I do is lowercase, so always remember that. Every keep everything lowercase. ID, let's just leave it as integer, length, and values. We're not going to have more than a thousand creatures, so just put it for three. Uh, set it on auto increment which will automatically set it as the primary index but you can go ahead and set it here anyway we'll go over that a little later it's not important now let's do name H points attack and defense let's change name to var care and let's give them a possible of 21 change hit points to medium manager three attack is also medium manager which is three and medium manager for defense which is three <coughs> and let's save it now the first thing we want to do let's go ahead and enter some data in the creatures so let's click on creatures and let's do insert let's go ahead and throw in two real quick creatures Let's do ID. You don't have to put anything. It's auto increment. Name. Let's just do the standard goblin. Hit points of. Let's give him five hit points. Let's give him a three attack and a three defense. Let's give. Let's make one a little more complicated. Let's do an orc. Hit points. Let's give him ten. Let's give him a five attack and a five defense. And we'll make them double all the way around six and six. Hit go. <coughs> Now we need to give our players some data. So let's click back on our players table. And let's click on our player one. That's the only one we're going to use. 
if you don't have the player, if you deleted it or something like that, go ahead and remake it. The only thing that's important is the name equals player one. Uh, let's give him hit points. So he, eh, let's give him 15. Let's give him a little edge, and then let's also let's give him a five. Uh, let's make it six. We're even with the orc. I tell you what, let's keep it five. So he's a little more powerful than us, and a five defense. Go. <coughs> And once that done, we have our database set up. We can go back to our context. One thing I, thought I, I did figure out, if you go to Options, Environment Options, and most of you guys probably already figured this out from the last video of me needing it. <clears throat> if you go to Editor and click Line Numbers, make sure that's checked, and that'll give us our line numbers because it's pretty important in PHP because that's the way PHP tells you, hey, there's a problem on this line number. Okay, the first, our first script is battle.php. Uh, if you notice, I started with openPHP, include, connect.php, which we're going to do include once later, but not now. Anyway, just you know what this is. Our first query is our select all from players where name equals player one. If this was a real game online, of course, it wouldn't be where name equals player one because not everybody's name is player one. We'd have a variable there that would be based on a session variable of who's playing, but for now, make it simple. We're just going to do where name equals player one. If by chance you created your another player, that you put the stats on, just as long as that name equals that player name, you're fine. <clears throat> uh, if it doesn't, if it can't find it, then it's saying, hey, die, could not get player stats, uh, if it can't actually query this. What this query is doing is it's building a array that's named player info 3. What we want to do is player info 3 and then this bracket with all this, all this is a little long, so I'm actually creating a new variable, new variables, and putting that info in there. So the first one is player HP it equals player info 3 hit points so it's equaling this arrays where that field equals hit points so we had 10 what 15 hit points so that's going to equal 15 our player attack was 5 so that's player attack's going to equal 5 player defense was 5 so it's going to equal 5 now <coughs> the way i did this script and this we'll, we'll kind of come back to because i can't really explain it right now but this is saying if is set get creature uh, basically, if there is a, be a variable named creature being passed through the URL, it's saying if that's set, then do this. And we're going to come back to this. Right now, the first time we play this, there's not. So it's going to be an else. Creature, so then else we need to do, we need to get our creature. So we're going to do another uh, query. And it's select all from creatures, order by rand, limit one. So basically, that's going to go through all the creatures and it's going to order them by random. It's going to pick one out of randomly, and it, but it's only going to give us one. That's all we want to fight. Um, then here's our query, and this is going to build an array called creature info 3. Same as above, the creature's name is going to go into creature, the creature hit points is going to go under his hit points, creature attack, attack, defense. Simple stuff. It's just like what we did up here. Uh, <clears throat> now let's scroll down. Player info. This is where we want to print what we have. So let's do echo underline that's HTML for underline our players name in the underline break the line echo hit points equals player hit points break the line echo attack equals player attack break the line and defense equals the player defense this player hit points is going to equal that which which actually equals that which is going to be the 15 same thing we did with creatures and then we're going to after displays and you're ready to attack we want to do a link that, that goes to attack.php and what we're doing here we're actually inserting PHP the get function or get method into the URL so basically we're taking a variable named creature and we're entering in our actual variable creature which is the creature's name and saying putting a link saying attack and I'll show you how that works first thing let's do once you get that saved let's go ahead and open up another browser and let's do localhost tutorial slash battle dot php enter <clears throat> 